today is Tech Tuesday and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite tools, which is Airtable. As you all know, I try to use as few tools as I possibly can and I try to make everything streamlined and to use all in one platforms for wherever I can. So I absolutely love Kajabi and I absolutely love Airtable. Now Airtable is a free platform that you can use to put all of your marketing materials in one place. Now, what kind of marketing materials am I talking about? Things like your blog post, um, links to your videos, your Facebook posts, like all of those things that you probably have random and scattered everywhere. Some of it's probably in Google Docs. Some of it might be in Dropbox. Some of it might be on the hard drive of your computer, or maybe you've even downloaded it onto thumb drives or external hard drives. Maybe you're keeping stuff in Canva or PicMonkey. Like, you know, maybe you have pictures and files like everywhere on all of these different platforms. Well, you can take those and you can all organize all of it into this one platform. And I'm going to show you a little bit of an overview today on how to do that. So I'm LaFay Pie at One Happy Business and let's get started. All right. So what is Airtable exactly? All right. It is a workspace where you can actually put everything in. You're going to be able to do so many things here. There's so many things you can do in Airtable that I haven't even thought of doing that other people have told me that they've done like sending emails from here or hooking up jot form um to here so that you can have all of your um jot form messages coming right in and populating into a folder so who uses uh airtable besides me well time netflix a and E, <laughs> Shopify, like all of these big names use Airtable because they all need a place to hold all of their social media to keep it organized and simplified. It's really good if you're a solo entrepreneur um, to organize yourself, but then all of a sudden, say you want to level up and you need an assistant, all of a sudden, all you have to do is share your folders. So you don't give them your actual folder. You can make a copy of it and then give it to them in their own workspace. So you always keep the original in case something ever got deleted. And I'm only using the free version, but I'm still able to do all of these things inside of Airtable. Okay. So like I said, um, all kinds of different people use Airtable, including, you know, A&E Networks. All right, so if you're looking to have maybe a product catalog, product planning, user resources, marketing, it's really, really great for product launches, your coaching business, keeping all of your notes in there in one area. So these are some of the things that I don't do yet. And these are the integrations that I was talking about a little bit earlier, where you can hook up things like, you know, um, having your Facebook posts come out of Airtable, having your emails come out of Airtable. I do it all manually right now, tweets and things like that. All of that is manual right now, but I guess there are integrations where you can actually integrate the two so that you don't have to and it populates automatically. So that would be for another video. All right, so if you're ready to take Airtable for a spin, there's going to be a link down below on how um, you can get started with Airtable. And if you use my link and you're in one of my free groups, then you know what? Chances are that I also can help you set things up a whole lot quicker. So when you start with Airtable, now we're inside of mine. So when you start with Airtable, a lot of times what ends up happening is you want to create a work base. All right. So these are all different work bases that I share with different people. But if you wanted to actually start from scratch, then you can start from scratch and you can populate any type of a work base that you want. So you can name it. Whoops. And you can pick the color that you want and you can even pick what type of display you want it to have. Okay, and you, this is where you can share, duplicate the base, move the base. Um, anytime you have Slack notes, go in here. That makes everything so much easier. Um, if you want to rename the table, this is how you do it. 
All right, and then you know name of your subject. Um, any notes that you might have. Now, when you're making notes, one of the things in here um, is that you'll notice that really the notes just go in. They're all not capitalized or anything. But if you push this little custom field right here, you can actually enable rich text formatting. So this is really good if you want to have a blog post. Let me bring up one of my blog posts. And say I wanted to copy my blog post. All right. Let's do this one over here. Say I wanted to copy my blog post, okay? So, and I want enriched text. Okay. All right. I paste it in. You can see how it, it goes to the big headlines, to uh, where it is bolded, all the spacing is all in there. Okay. So that's what that enriched, you, the enriched text formatting does for you, which is really good for blogs, okay? And if I wanted to rename this blog, okay? And then attachments, this is where you can pull in and just literally drop in a picture. And then you can have your status reports. Uh, you know, if it's in progress and you can create any other type of link that you want, maybe you want a checkbox. All right to check that it's done. Maybe you want to create a URL. I want the URL from that specific blog post. Okay, and you, that just populates right in there. So that next time you can just click on it and it will bring it up. All right, makes it so much easier for launching when you have all of your links, your URLs, um, all of your posts, everything, all of your graphics, all in one spot. Multiple selections, this is how you can actually create multi fields. And then what you do is you just add in here. So we add in number one, and we can pick, pick the color. Then we add in number two, and then say we want to change that color to pink. Number three, and we want to change that one to gray. And look right here, I didn't have it actually be number one. And then we just create the field, and then we are all good. All right, so have a play with Airtable and, um, you know, test it out. See what you want to create for yourself. And if you don't want to create a, one from scratch, you can always start with a template and you can go in here and take a look at their templates and plan from there. All right, so this was just a quick overview of Airtable and the different things that you can do. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time on text to tech. <laughs> See you next time on Tech Tuesday. Bye for now.